Well, Kyle's busy inside taking care of customers. We've been busy today sawing some cherry. So I'm headed out to the mill here right now. In fact, here we got a bundle of wood getting brought out that we sawed up to some uh, cherry this morning. Here's some live edge slabs. Let's flip this around. Oh, there the boys are carrying some of our cherry up to the front. That's a bunch of uh, five quarter and six quarter slabs that we uh, cut here this morning. I'll take you out to the mill here. We're gonna fire back up this afternoon. I got some older cherry logs. In fact, they're uh, right over here. I paid about $10,000 for, I had some more logs. I had sawed some of them already, but I, had about, I paid about $10,000 for these logs. These ones have been sitting around a while. I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't get them cut up sooner, but here we go. I paid a lot of money. Cherries, cherry was expensive. As you can see, I mean, that's a really nice cherry log there. So we're gonna see if there's any lumber left in these babies. I think there is, I'm pretty confident, but nothing's for sure. So, all right, we'll keep heading back over to the mill here. So the guys already hauled away the, the low grade lumber. Uh, I got like a rustic or a panel grade, I call it. So here's some of the select and better right here. Then this right here, we actually cut some quarter sawn out of this. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's not real common to get quarter sawn cherry lumber, but I did it on this little batch. It's some nice big logs. Then we got some eight quarter right here. But first, let's check in with Mark and Luke as they're cutting pallet parts at the other mill. This is Mark. Mark must be Mark must be working on the other mill. He's loading logs up up for the other mill. Luke and Mark, I think, are cutting popple that day. Eight foot two by fours, I believe, if I remember correctly. Stack and slab went off the other mill. There Luke is sawing away. So here Mark is taking the flitches. They're the boards that need to be edged out. And he's making a pile of them because our other mill we don't have the edger there. All we have is the plain mill. So you gotta unload everything right off the mill. And then we have to come back. We'll bring those, those flitches over to the uh, other sawmill and run them to the edger at a later time. Because while Mark and Luke are sawing this, I'm over sawing the cherry and we're using the edger, edging out all of our lumber. Maybe someday I'll either get two edgers or I'll figure something else out. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I think he's got two by sixes. I don't remember why they were cut two by sixes. Over to Kendall as he shows us this unique piece of cherry lumber. All right, Joe. Hey. How's it going today? It's going good. You, uh, what do you think of all this cherry we've been cutting up? That is some nice stuff. Yeah. Even some bird dye in there. Yeah, we had some really cool. I've never seen it in cherry before. I don't know if I'm thinking. There's one right over there. Is there one right over here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Isn't that cool looking? It's a neat piece. Yeah, we sent that to the kiln. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a heavy sap pocket um, yeah. kind of deal, but really neat. That's a neat thing I've never seen before. Yeah, it's like Bengal tiger striping. Herb's <laughs> eye. Yeah. Here you go, Joe. Look in the screen, follow me around. I'm gonna put a blade on it. Here I am changing out a blade, knocking the sawdust off the wheels. Otherwise, if you don't do that, then you get a lump of sawdust on one side of the wheel, and then it vibrates when you try and saw. Everything gets wobbly. This 
is where we put our used blades. They're going back to get sharpened. We just make little piles of them and then they come by and pick them up and drop off the new ones and the sharpened ones. Quite a few. Each one of those blades brand new is 320 bucks. So I like them to last as long as possible. Yep, put new blades on here. Now you gotta make sure you put the blade on the right direction because if you put it on backwards, it does not cut. Now we kind of get the blade just kind of set in there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tension the blade up and then we'll check to see where it sets. So usually it vibrates a little bit and then uh, once we get her close, we'll spin her and see how she runs. Warm up a little bit here. We do let that blade kind of get used to its flexing and bending before we really start to work it hard. Here we are loading up some nice cherry logs. Took them babies out. Boy, them are nice for Minnesota cherry. I mean, we had some chunky logs too, but there's a lot of nice ones in this in this batch. I was impressed. Double cut bandsaw blade. Cuts through this cherry with ease and butter. Like butter. <laughs> like a hot knife through butter. The first mill has a log deck and an outfit. Our second mill has just a log loader and then just the, just the deck. So we have to hand unload everything from the mill. You know, it's fed in on a log chain and then when I can dump it off and it rolls out and it's on an outfit chain. The quarter saw lumber you see here in this clip is worth somewhere between four to six dollars per square foot. We can put the title on something on how much money you can make from, from selling this lumber from this cherry. And then right now you can just reveal to them, we're not, you're not going to make much money at all, bro. <laughs> if you're looking to try to get rich off this, ain't going to happen. I bought $10,000 of cherry logs and I'm hoping to make $50,000 off of it. Man, I hope you're using some of this. You want to go and you want to go and watch the dang clip? Yeah, that would and help. Then, that would I, help. I can't have... Rough sawn green cherry is worth somewhere between two and a half dollars and four dollars a board foot. Hey, if you guys enjoyed watching us sawn up all this cherry with our double cut band mill, click right here to see some more double cut action. That was pretty good action. That'll work. Yep, that'll work. He's got something to work with there. Yeah, he got something to work with.